Okay, in order to explain Crow, first we need to talk about the Eternals and their recurring foes, the Deviants. In the comics, both the Eternals and the Deviants were genetically engineered super beings created using human DNA by all-powerful space gods called the Celestials. It looks like the movie will be doing away with the human DNA part, with the Eternals apparently arriving on Earth thousands of years ago via spaceship. For reasons we won't go into here, while the Eternals were beautiful and blessed with an array of fantastic powers, the Deviants, while equally powerful, were hideous, bitter, and warlike. And while some fled Earth as soon as possible, a number of Eternals and Deviants remained on our poor home planet and spent the next bunch of millennia locked in vicious conflict. This war often involved the Deviants trying to claim the awesome power of the Celestials and the Eternals stopping them, and it went on so long that it became woven into the history and mythology of humankind. For example, you've probably heard of the Singing of Atlantis, right? In Marvel mythology, that was part of the war between Eternals and Deviants. Pretty neat! A curious quirk of the Deviants is that no two members of their race share the same abilities, making each Deviant unique. And the big villain of the Eternals movie, the subject of this video, is more unique than most. He's gone by a few different names over the centuries, but you can call him Crow. So what's this guy's deal? Well, he's got a pretty impressive resume. His most important skill is almost total mastery over his physical form. In layman's terms, this means that he can control the behavior of his own cells, enabling him to rapidly heal even the most devastating of injuries through sheer force of will. On top of that, he has the ability to shapeshift, although in the comics he's limited to only shifting the flesh and mass that he already possesses. He can't alter his skeletal structure, for example. In practice, this means he tends to change his face, which seems to be sufficient for his evil purposes most of the time. Although, going by the glimpse we got of his powers in the new trailer, we're wondering if the MCU version of Crow will do things a little differently. This shape-shifting power means that Crow has spent centuries disguising himself, moving among the Deviants and the Eternals in a variety of guises. He was even the lover of Thena, one of the Eternals at one point, presumably when he had a slightly more attractive face than the weird pink devilish one that he often falls back on though. And of course, in keeping with the way the Eternals and the Deviants have woven themselves into human history and religion, Crow has inadvertently ended up as the basis of various mythological figures, including Pluto. No, not that one. And even Hades. Ah. Also, no, not that one. Well, I mean, kind of that one. Anyway, all pretty interesting stuff we think you'll agree. And Crow's unique powers make him stand apart from his deviant brethren, giving him a slightly different outlook on life. This quality will hopefully make him an interesting antagonist for the movie. And speaking of the movie... How is the MCU going to approach this unique villain? The first and most obvious change is the look of the character. Gone is the traditional pink skin of comic book Crow with his cinematic incarnation boasting darker coloring and an almost reptilian look. Plus, he seems to have a couple extra eyes, which we're sure will come in useful. And are those cloven hooves? You can also see from the way Crow restrains Thena that his shape-shifting powers are showier than they are in the comics, with his flesh-forming tentacles that can move and grab things. We wouldn't be surprised if he's a lot less limited than his funny book counterpart. But looks aside, what's his game? It can't be an accident that the trailer shows him interacting with Thena, his sometime comic book lover. This could well be a hint that their romance will play a part in the story. This would be an intriguing new wrinkle for a Marvel villain and would add some extra dimension to this monstrous warlord's actions. The movie has even been described as a love story, so make of that what you will. The trailer also suggests that the movie will be dealing with The Emergence, a devastating phenomenon caused by the massive energy it took to bring everyone back after Thanos did that whole finger snapping thing. We're not totally sure what the movie version of The Emergence will entail, though we would tentatively predict that it has something to do with the Celestials, and we'd guess that Crow is intending to capitalize on that in some way. And while this is obviously all speculation at this point, with Chloe Zhao directing the movie, we feel pretty secure that Crow will be a complex and three-dimensional villain, the kind of antagonist that heroes like the Eternals need. And we'll find out for sure soon.